Okay, so um, whenever I do anything, uh, like even if I do social media or anything, I always see it from a very SEO standpoint. And uh, SEO really just means search engine optimization. Uh, what people don't realize is YouTube is a search engine, just like Google. It's actually owned by Google and it's the number two search engine. So it's the second largest search engine of all of the web. Uh, so the number of searches that happen on YouTube is enormous. And it's, there's a big advantage to YouTube marketing that uh, Google doesn't have. The, the advantage is that when somebody searches on Google, uh, generally they want to click one of the top ranked sites. You know, they click within the top 10 and they don't really go much further than that. Uh, but on YouTube, because when they search for something, they might search for how do I repair a, a faucet or how do I do whatever, uh, they're going to watch more than one video. And they might actually watch many videos within that topic. So even if you're not number one or not even in the top 10, you might still get a lot of views. So that's a huge advantage that that you don't have to rank as high on YouTube to still get a lot of traffic and a lot of views for your videos. Um, so I'm gonna show you some tricks <laughs> that will hopefully uh, make uh, your YouTube marketing a lot stronger and show you how you can really leverage YouTube to you know, make your business better. Um, personally, I, I'm a big fan of YouTube mainly because I, I I have some multiple channels on YouTube and you know, with each with a few thousand uh, subscribers. And it's just my way of uh, you know, kind of reaching out to people <laughs> and kind of promoting myself. Um, so the thing is with YouTube marketing, what you have to remember is you have to have a video ultimately. Um, now, if you're, if you're trying to promote a business, video is actually very important. Uh, they say that if you put a video on your web page, like for example, if you put a video on your home page, you can actually convert uh, five times more likely just by adding a video to your home page. So when somebody comes into your site, they're, they're more likely to want to engage with you if they see a video on your website because they, they feel like the video kind of is a way of like showcasing yourself and getting people to feel comfortable with you. So video is very, very powerful that, you know, it, as I said, it can increase your conversions by five times. That's, that's huge. Um, and also it's powerful for another reason. And this is the SEO reason. Well, what happens is Google loves Google. So if you take a video uh, that you post on YouTube and then embed that on your website and then link the two together, like, so in the, video on YouTube, you put a link pointing to your website, uh, that will actually give you a huge boost in rankings. Okay, because it's a link from Google. So you're getting a link from YouTube, which is Google. And that is basically recommending your website. Also, Google wants to promote itself. So generally, what it'll do is when people search for whatever thing that they're searching for, it's going to want to show itself first, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's one that wants to promote itself. So if you have a video which kind of relates to a keyword, then it's generally going to show that video at the top of the, of the search results. So you can use a video as a way of sort of jumping ahead of your competitors where you can target specific keywords within your video. So I'm going to show you how to do that <laughs> and hopefully it all makes sense. Um, so yeah, so first of all, like uh, I'm gonna maybe uh, take over the screen here. I'm gonna open up a new window and I'm gonna show you YouTube because <laughs> it makes sense to see what we're talking about, right? So I'm just gonna go in here. One sec. And I'm going to just switch my uh, share screen, YouTube. 
Okay, so you should be able to see my YouTube here. All right. Okay, so this is my YouTube. When you first come into YouTube, you get your recommended videos based on stuff that you've watched. Um, and you get your, you know, your little logo and stuff. But you get this basic search, okay? And let's say I'm searching for um, like Markham, Markham, and some kind of thing. Like I'm looking for Markham roofers or whatever. So what happens is you'll notice it gives you a whole bunch of things related to Markham. That's just an example. Um, it could be Toronto, it could be like New York, whatever city you're in. If you, if you type in that city, it'll actually tell you what are the most commonly searched items within that. Um, or if you type in your product, let's say you do real estate, you'll see what are the most commonly searched uh, things related to that keyword. So what you can do is you can sort of say, okay, well, this is what people are interested in. So people, for example, when I type in real estate, well, it does localize it. So it's, it's saying, well, it knows that I'm in Canada, so it's gonna show me more Canadian related results. So it's the number one most commonly thing people search when they're looking for real estate related videos is real estate investing in Canada. So, well, like if we go to that, like let's say I have a video about that, um, what I can do is, or when I, if I'm trying to even create ideas for what should I make my video about, well, generally when I create ideas that are things that people are looking for. So if we know that people are looking for real estate investing and I'm a real estate agent, well, I'm gonna make a video about you know, real estate investing in Canada, and then talk about uh, that for my company in, in terms of promoting my company. So I'm gonna say, you know, how, how do you invest in real estate? What are some tips for uh, investing in real estate? So you can see when you, uh, when you do that search, you get, you get the ads at the top always, but these are, the, these are the most commonly, these are the videos that rank at the top. Now, if you do something where you grab this, I'm going to just grab that, and you go Control F, and then you paste it in there. What you can do is you can see how this keyword is used by the, the different people who are targeting that keyword. Okay, so really not very good in terms of the way that they targeted it. So the, the, one of the top ranked ones is this one. Okay, and it's, he uses it exactly. The title is exactly that. Now the guy that comes uh, above him is similar. It has some of the keywords, but not quite the right keywords. The only reason it ranks better is it might be on a more popular channel or it might've gotten more views. So the Google algorithm, what it does is it looks at this title, whatever you title your video, as a very important ranking factor. So what you wanna do is whatever that keyword is, you wanna make your title of your video kind of relate to that keyword as much as possible. Now there's caveats to that, okay? So if I just label my video real estate investing in Canada, that's kind of boring, <laughs> okay? And what you gotta do is sort of do, um, uh, what's called clickbait, okay? And clickbait is where you, you make a title that's appealing to the person that's searching, okay? So you'll notice the first guy has advice for new real estate investors in Canada, beginner tips and tricks, you know? So these are all kind of, kind of things that are gonna make people want to click it more because it's, it has, it's saying more. It's, you know, makes people really want to, you know, click it because they're curious what those tips and tricks are. So this is where clickbait happens. Now, if he gets more clicks, well, he's gonna get more views and that's gonna boost his ranking. So one of the things that Google uses is not only the title, but how much viewership do you get? And not only does it look at how much viewership do you get, but it looks at how well did that viewership engage with your videos. 
So let's say you have a five minute video and they only watch 10 seconds of it because it's so boring that they leave. Well, that is gonna cause you to get a negative score on Google, on YouTube. So basically what's gonna happen is over time, if you keep on getting like very low durations on your videos, then generally your videos are gonna rank very poorly. So if you can really grab the attention of people on YouTube and make the videos a strong video, you can, you can get a ranking boost because the, one of the ranking factors is how long do people view your video? So they look at the number of views and they look at um, the duration of those views. So viewer time is really, really important. Now I'm gonna quickly visit this guy's video. Okay, and you'll see when you first get into most videos on YouTube, you'll get an ad. This is an ad. So this ad, uh, Google, uh, YouTube does a, 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 what's called a rev share. So it will give the person that made this video a percentage of the profit from displaying this video. So it's gonna, it charges like maybe a dollar to display this video. And uh, if they watch it long enough, it, like I think it's 20 seconds, 25 seconds, uh, they will give uh, a dollar or a half of that. They'll split the revenue with, uh, with the channel that is posting this video. So what will happen is uh, you can basically um, use your YouTube to basically generate some money as well. So, you know, you can monetize it by uh, getting people to advertise on your, and Google will do all this for you. YouTube will do all this for you where they'll actually get the, the, the ad, the ads to display on your video. So you don't have to worry about that. But the point is like if they watch the video, these little ad videos and they watch it to a certain length, then you'll get uh, ad revenue from those, uh, from those ads. But after that, you'll, you get into the video. So generally what will happen is most people just skip the ads because they don't want to watch a three minute ad. <laughs> so they'll just skip it and watch the real video. But what I want to show you is the major elements of why this video, for example, ranks at the top of the search for the keyword that we, we typed. So one thing that I mentioned was the title. Okay, so he kind of had a reasonable title, but not a great title. Now, if we had created the same video and had everything else the same as him, but a better title, we would have ranked above him. So that's the first thing. The next thing that uh, Google looks at, they look at a bunch of factors. One is the viewer duration I mentioned, but also they look at the, the channel itself. Now, this guy's channel has 62,000 subscribers. So it's, a, it's a considered a reasonably strong channel. Now, the more subscribers you have, the, the, the more Google thinks that you, or YouTube thinks that you're a strong channel and therefore it'll give you a bit of a ranking boost whenever you post a video. Because if you have that many subscribers, generally people will want to see your videos, okay? And you'll see underneath, this is your description. Within your description, this is a place where you can do a bunch of things. This is like a very important area. As I said, this, is, this title is very important for rankings, but also this description is huge for rankings. This is where you can really reinforce the keywords and you get a huge amount of text to play with. You'll see this is a quite a long bit of text that you can put in here and you can repeat the keyword just like you do with um, website optimization. You can optimize your video in the same way where you can put the keyword throughout. So it's, he didn't quite do that, <laughs> but, but um, you know, he should have, uh, but he had like sort of partial keywords in here. So Google is able to recognize that this is somewhat optimized, but not quite the right keywords. Um, had he done it better, he would have gotten even better rank. Well, he was ranked number one, just based on views probably. Uh, but um, if he did this better, he could have you know, made his video stronger in terms of its initial ranking. Uh, the other thing that he does, and this is important for you to do when you make your videos, is to put in links. See how he puts all these links? 
uh, there's a bunch of things that you should do like in as like um, usually what I do is have a file that uh, contains my Twitter, my Facebook, my uh, subscribe to my channel link and like a bunch of things. So it's just this kind of file that contains this information, which is all the ba your major links, your website link, your, you know, wherever you want to send people. So these are kind of his like basic links that he's going to put on every video. Okay. So that people have many ways to get in touch with him. And you put that onto your video, you put a link to your website and you basically encourage people to, uh, you know, engage with you in some way or other, because the goal of these videos is not just to get views, but to get sales, to get business. So what you want to do is create as many ways as possible for people to engage with you. So that's what this is for. Uh, the other thing is, as I said, you want to repeat those keywords within this content. Okay. And you want to really make this content very meaty, like have lots of stuff on it where you can really, uh, not just target the main keyword, but target other keywords where you kind of kind of uh, fill it up with lots of great information. Okay. So that people, uh, can find the video and the more, you know, it's really a great way, way to get a whole bunch of keywords in here. A uh, couple things that he didn't do, but you can do is you can add even hashtags. So people can like, you can add a hashtag like real estate investing, and that will um, allow people to um, click it and see all the real estate investing videos. That will give you a bit of a ranking boost. Another thing you can do is, uh, which he didn't do, <laughs> is you can add tags to your video. And that really helps your ranking as well where you can add tags like real estate investing in Canada, real estate investing, real estate investing Canada, you know, where you have all the different variations and you can really fill up those tags too as a way of really reinforcing the keywords. So that's really important. So those kind of things. So getting it in this title, getting it in this description, getting it in with the tags, getting it uh, repeated within this content. And th those will all boost your rankings so you can if you do all this just this optimization you can get videos ranked for the most part because when most people come onto youtube they're not really thinking about seo they're not they're just thinking about making great videos but if you think about it from an seo standpoint you can actually get really well ranked so uh, one of the things that you can do is what i do is i try to find out what are the variations of the keyword so I can kind of embed those into it as well. So when I do it, as I, I'll look at what are the other related keywords and I'll try to get those worked into this content as well. So that I target not just the primary keyword, but the secondary keywords as well. These, all these things. Okay. So you want to kind of have a little bit of both. Don't just focus on your big keyword, focus on the other ones as well in, in, in the content here. Uh, another thing that's really important, uh, with to get your rankings up is to get this like and dislike number. Now, Go uh, YouTube is kind of weird. Even though somebody dislikes your video, it doesn't negatively rank you for that. It, it actually sees that as a reaction and reactions are good in Google's mind and uh, YouTube's mind. It wants to see uh, people engaging with your video. So these thumbs up and thumbs down it sees as reactions to your video and it'll give you a ranking boost for the fact that people are engaged because a thumbs down doesn't necessarily mean that they hate your video. It just means that they might uh, dislike something within your video. Like for example, you know, you could say, um, you know, there's a problem in our society and you know, people might agree that they don't like that problem and they'll give you a thumbs down <laughs> by saying, you know, and that's that they, you know, hate that problem too. So <laughs> it doesn't mean like a dislike is not always a negative thing. So um, these, these totals really matter. So what you have to do when you make your video, uh, there's a few things that there's a few tricks to really get these things to work better for you. One is when you make your video, um, always start out with a teaser within your own video. So you'll generally have what's called the intro where you, it's, and it should be very short, like five seconds max, five, 10 seconds, really, really short intro 
where you just basically introduce your channel, who you are, what you are, you know, something kind of in, you know, that's a little bit, uh, you know, eye catching, just get them excited to be watching your video. Uh, then uh, you have your, your, you know, quick intro. When you actually are speaking, you say, you know, in this video, I'm going to show you the secrets that you need to know and, <laughs> and, you know, stay tuned to the very end where I'm going to share a very special, extra special trick that you're going to, you're going to be able to use to double your business or something like that. So you, you kind of put a teaser in there in that first little bit of your video where you're going to say what the video is going to be about, but also you're going to tease them to want to stay till the very end to watch the whole video. Because as I said, duration is really, really important. And during the video, you can actually break it up with points that you can say, Hey, if you like what you're watching, please give me a like, uh, uh, give me a thumbs up, you know, uh, give me a comment. What do you think about this? So you, you want to get that engagement. So what you do is you say, you know, give me a, a like, give me a, a comment as well. What you want to do is really encourage people to comment. I know there's, there's actually people that discourage comments that don't want comments, but all comments are good. Even bad comments are good because you want people engaging with your video. The more people that comment, the actually that will also improve your ranking. So you want to get these comments happening where people can engage with your video and really uh, boost your rankings. And when people can engage with your video where they can make these comments, they really feel that they're, taking part in that video. And so it's really important to get that sense of engagement for your, for your audience. So allowing comments is essential for, for it's, it's essential for YouTube rankings and improving your overall visibility. It really encourages people to get engaged. And what will happen is um, generally you'll get more views this way because they, they'll start talking about it. They'll rewatch the video. They'll, you, know, they, you might get multiple views from the same users because they, they, they're engaging with the comments and they might look back at your video multiple times just because they want to address different points within your video. So it's a really great way uh, to sort of encourage views and to encourage engagement is to tell people, hey, comment, ask questions of your audience when you're making your video. So you say things like, you know, um, if it's real estate investing in Canada, have you ever bought a property? What was your experience buying that property? Uh, do you have any tips? Or did you, did you like, you know, give me your feedback when you try the tips that I'm giving in this video? You know, things like that, where you're basically asking for user input to basically comment and engage with your video. That's really, really important. Another thing that you can do, which is really important, is comment on your own video. This is something a lot of newbies won't do. They forget they don't do this. Where you, if you, what you got to do is comment on your own video. And what I mean by that is when you first, the very first comment that should be on the channel should be yourself. And the reason you comment on your own video is to really basically ask those questions that you asked in the video. You say, you know, uh, what is what's you know what did you think of the video? give me your feedback and you people then know that they're going to be replying to the person that created the video. So that in itself gets engagement because people want to engage with the person that made the video. Because in a weird way, when you make these videos, even if you don't have that many followers or uh, viewers, people have watched your video. In some ways you have a little bit of celebrity, even though it's maybe very minimal uh, people, will kind of uh, see you as an expert because they, they something about video just gives you a bit of credibility and they will want to engage with you directly. So by commenting on your own video, you can basically engage people in, a, on a higher level where they feel like they're engaging with you direct. And I've seen like on some channels where they really leverage that power where they can actually get sales through it and they can really generate business because People are like asking them questions and what ends up happening is you can say, well, let's take this offline and like, you know, let's, you know, discuss it, you know, 
or, you know, call me about it, you know, so things like that where basically they're using the comment section as a way to generate business. And it's, it's very powerful. So as again, never turn off the comments. This is really important. Uh, it's really important to get that first comment being your own comment. Another thing is when you comment on your own video, it sounds like a weird thing to do, but what ends up happening is uh, it's the first feedback that happens on that video. So Google, YouTube, sorry, I keep on saying Google. Um, YouTube will see it as engagement, that first comment, even though it's yourself. And they will generally give you uh, a little bit of a boost as well. So uh, that's very important. The other thing uh, that I should show <laughs> um, is you've got to tell people at the end of your video, at the, maybe a, even at the beginning of the video, to subscribe to you. So this is another thing that a lot of beginners don't do, is they don't say, hey, subscribe to my channel, you know, you know, give me a like, you, you know, do all these things. You also, nowadays with uh, YouTube, there's a little bit of a weird thing that goes on. You have to press the subscribe button, but there's also a notification bell that you have to press as well if you want to get notified that, uh, like, so if I subscribe to him, what'll happen is I won't necessarily, even though I'm subscribed to him, I won't necessarily now get notifications when he posts a new video. The only way I can get that is if I click this bell and click all, okay? So I'm gonna unsubscribe. <laughs> but um, what happens is uh, you have to click that like the bell button to get the notifications. And then once you click that bell, it ends up coming up here where you'll get, whenever that person posts a new video, you'll get a notification up here. So what you wanna do is tell your audience to do that because you want them to watch your newest videos. Uh, because a lot of the times, even though you have like a thousand subscribers or multiple thousands of subscribers, you're not getting those, um, you're not getting as many views as you might think you should get. Uh, you know, you should get, if you have 60,000 subscribers, you would expect to get 60,000 views. But generally what ends up happening is you don't get that because most of those subscribers don't have the notifications on and they just don't see your new videos. Even though they might like them, they just don't see them. So you gotta tell people, kind of educate them to click that bell button and you know, to fully subscribe to you. So that's very important as well. A couple other tricks that I, I should really mention within YouTube is one of the things that people always ask me is how long should a video be? And I actually, you know, I used to always say about two minutes. Um, but it really depends on what you're doing. So if you're doing like um, a business related video where it's like, you know, like a testimonial about your company or something like that, um, two minutes is probably a good length. If it's, if it's something where you really want to provide content, you can make it much longer than that. 10 to 20 minutes is actually not that uncommon. Uh, so longer videos actually get pretty good views. A lot of people will watch YouTube in the background. They'll just leave it on. They'll, they'll watch it like the way that they watch TV. Uh, so you can make the longer videos and people will actually watch the full length. You know, and as I said, it's duration that really matters. So if, if, it's, if, they, if you make a 20-minute video and they only watch 5, 10 minutes of it, well, that's still a lot of duration that they've watched and that can really give you a ranking boost. So uh, you can make longer videos. Um, in terms of making longer videos, it's actually so easy nowadays to make good videos. Um, back in the day when, when YouTube first came out, the videos were very bad uh, in terms of the quality because it was quite hard to make good quality videos. But now uh, cell phone technology is so strong uh, that you can um, make high quality videos with your iPhone. It's, it's really that easy. Um, there's a few tricks that you can do to try to make it a bit better though. Uh, one trick that I do uh, is maybe I record the video. I actually have a special camera that I use, but, uh, but if I was going to use my iPhone, what I would do is I would download that video from my iPhone 
and generally the audio is the issue like the video will be fairly crisp and clear but sometimes the audio isn't the greatest so what you can do is you can take that audio and you can actually strip it out of the video um, another and what you do is you take that audio strip it out of the video and then you run it through a program called like audacity and uh, audacity uh, and then we can supply the link for that audacity is a program that uh, does it's a free program and it allows you to do video uh, audio editing so basically you can edit the audio you can improve the sound maybe it didn't record loud enough or you can remove all the background noises. Uh, so if you have like sort of like this weird noises in the background that are constant, you can filter those all out so you get this nice clear crisp video, uh, audio I should say. And you can do things like uh, get rid of like, like the little, like whenever people say P's or K's, it can cause the microphone to spike. You can get rid of those kind of things. You can, you can balance out the audio. You can do things where it really makes it a professional sounding uh, video. Um, people are very forgiving about the quality of the video, but they're not as forgiving about the quality of the audio. So audio really matters. So uh, generally it's a really good idea to take your video, strip out the, the audio. What you do is uh, there's programs that you can run like on um, for free where they'll just strip out the audio and just, do a search on you on Google for uh, audio uh, removing audio from or converting um, uh, MP4, which is the video file, to MP3, and that means that it just removes the video, and or converting an MP3 uh, MP4 to a WAV file, and then you can basically strip out that audio, and then what you do is you replace put that. <laughs> audio back into the video when it's clean. And then you can make it a nice clean video and audio that just really makes your, your, your video look professional. So the program is called Audacity. Um, another one that you might want to look into, and this is a little bit more professional, but it's also free, is it's called Hit Film 4. And it's an it's a audio, audio and video editor. And basically what you can do is you can, you can do cool things like transitions. You can cut your video because a lot of the time when we do videos, uh, they can be quite long. You can start rambling. You can have like all these like issues within your video and you want to get rid of all that just to make a really professional video. So what you can do is use hit film four to basically cut all those segments out of your video that are just where you stumble or say the wrong thing. Like I said, Google a million times when I should have said YouTube, well, I could have cut all those out of the video. So these are the kind of things that you can do with a, with a software like HitFilm 4. And it works for both the PC and Mac. So it's a, it's a great software. Uh, there's other ones like uh, iMovie for the Mac that you can use that are, it, that's a really good software that can help make your videos more professional. Um, but generally, as I said, the audio is the key. <laughs> People are, somehow more, um, more uh, concerned about the audio than they are about the video. So it's, it's weird, but audio is very important. The funny thing is I've seen a lot of people nowadays doing the following where they'll do like an uh, like a, like a, like a audio cast and it'll just be a purely uh, audio file and they'll just post up some random image and just play that audio. And people will still watch that. And I've seen ones where it's like three hours long and it still has really high engagement because the audio is good and people and what the person is saying is interesting. So uh, generally people will watch it even though there's nothing to watch. It's just audio, <laughs> but they'll watch it because they, they, it's just like listening to the radio or something like that where they, they really engage with it. So the point is um, audio is key. Video is not as much. <laughs> What you generally, what you can do is if you want to make your video side more engaging, because that does help as well, uh, there's, there's things that you can do where you can use uh, jump cuts to like when you're, when, you're, when you're doing your video, 
if you stumble or say something weird, what you can do is you can cut the video very sharply where it goes from one, one scene to another scene and that's called a jump cut. And what that does is if you do it casually, not too often, it can really, it's a bit jarring and that can get engagement because you just sort of have that weird transition where it kind of grabs the person's attention and sort of makes them focus on the video again. <laughs> so jump cuts are useful. Uh, you can do things like, um, uh, there's, there's things like um, animate, Animanto, where you can get like animated characters or whiteboard videos, where you can do things where, it's, uh, uh, where you have some animation that you can, you know, if you don't want to show your face, you can use some animated character to uh, basically showcase <laughs> what you're saying, and you can basically have it read out your script. So there's a, there's a bunch of uh, tactics you can use to make really cool videos with some um, things like that. Um, I can even show you, there's a really great video. I always love this video. Uh, this is an older video, iPhone versus, um, uh, what was it? HTC, I think it was HTC. This one, this is, uh, this is done with, now I'm not gonna play this video, but I recommend you watch this, do a search for this later. This one is done with Extra Normal. And Extra Normal is, uh, is another one where they use like, these animated figures and you can basically type in what you want them to say. So you can basically write a script for your video and get these little animated figures <laughs> to basically say what you want them to say and have a little dialogue, or you can have multiple characters, you can create little backgrounds, and you can make a very kind of engaging video. And you'll notice like this video has like 17 million views. So these very simple to make videos can be very popular because they're, you know, it's kind of cute to see like little, little animals talking about whatever it is that they're talking about, right? So I recommend you look at this one. It's a very funny video. It's very well done. And uh, you know, you'll see why it is engaging. Now, I want to give you some tactics to that are like I'm going to try to summarize a little bit with uh, some tactics that you can use that will, are kind of going to give you your videos a little bit of a boost, uh, give your you know build an audience a lot faster. Um, there's a couple tricks you can do in order to get more views. So one of the one of the tricks that I showed you was just having the right keywords, finding out what it is people are searching. You can use, as I said, the suggested thing to find out what are the most commonly searched phrases. But what you can do beyond that is you can actually um, do a couple tricks. One is you'll notice when I'm on this video, I get all these suggested videos on the side, okay? Now often what you can do is you can do what's called the response video. And this is something that people should really do more of. Um, a response video is basically a video that you're responding to another video. And what ends up happening is um, those response videos usually get associated to the video that people originally watched. So a good example of this was uh, Gangnam Style, which was the number one most viewed video at one time. Uh, with 3 billion views. What happened was people would create other style videos. So they, there was Gangnam Style, which was the first one. And then there was videos like Baby Style, Deadpool Style, Grandma Style, <laughs> all these kind of different ones that leveraged the popularity of the original video and acted as a response video to it where they basically you know, made their own video where they were doing something silly to kind of parody the original video. And generally what ends up happening is those parody videos, I'll show you how well they do. So I'm just gonna do Gangnam Style, okay? And here's the original one, it has 3.7 billion views. Okay, I'm just gonna show you that. And you'll notice uh, his other videos get put in here. Uh, they're not doing it as much as they used to actually. <laughs> funny. 
Uh, but before, because I, it's been a while, uh, this, is, this video came out in 2012. But originally when this video was placed, uh, all the videos on the side here were like all these other styles. And they would each get um, about um, 100 million to 200 million views, even though, you know, even though they're just some mom and pop kind of person that just made some kind of re response video, they would, those videos themselves would get huge number of views. So, because people, as I said, they don't just watch the one video, they watch other related videos because they're interested in that topic. So when they see something that's kind of related to it, they're generally going to watch it. So it's a very, po uh, very uh, easy way to get a lot of views is to kind of uh, either parody something or respond to it. Another thing you can do is do a response video to a, a famous YouTuber. So the, the big, big YouTubers are like a PewDiePie or something like that, where you do like a response video to one of his videos. You mention his name in the video, you mention his name in the title, and you can, you can do things where you, you leverage his brand because people are searching for him because he has like 100 million viewers, uh, subscribers. And basically you can leverage him as a way to get views for your video. And you can talk about him. It's, it's a way of building business. Uh, and the same goes for uh, that real estate one, where what we can do is, well, we, he made a video about tics, tips and tricks uh, for real estate investing in Canada. Well, I could make a response to it. Are these, like, you know, where I tested out those tips and tricks or that I offer new tips and tricks because his video is a couple of years old or, you know, you, you create responses. Um, another thing that I want to show you, and this is where you can really um, uh, get ideas for videos and really uh, find out how to get into the mindset of different people. Um, like one of the biggest problems that people have is what do I make a video about, right? They're not even sure what topic it is that they want to make a video about. Uh, you know, I showed you that you can just type in the, the major keyword, which is like whatever your, whatever your service is. But there's a way of finding out um, how people are thinking about that, those keywords. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, answer. So I'm just going to show you another site. It's called Answer the Public. Okay. So this is the site, Answer the Public. And what you can do is you can just type in whatever your, your service is, if it's real estate, if it's um, marketing, if it's uh, roofing, whatever it is, you just put in what your thing is. So let's just put in real estate, keep it consistent. And what it'll do is we'll just, it'll, it'll grind out a nice little chart like this. So when people search for, for top, like things that they're interested in, um, they will generally search uh, by asking a question. They'll be like, oh, you know, how do, I, how do I invest in real estate? How do I buy a home? You know, how do I do this? So this, is, this site will basically help you find out what, people are, what kind of questions people are asking about your topic. And that makes very good topics for videos. Uh, this is a nice quick way to kind of create a whole bunch of video ideas. And these are all based on most commonly searched uh, keywords. So which real estate app is the most up to date? <laughs> you know? So these are all like, which real estate to invest in? You know, which real estate school is the best? You know, all these kind of questions. People have questions about it, and you can basically create videos about them. And it, you'll get huge engagement because you're answering questions that people are little, legitimately asking. And this is a really quick way to find out good video topics and make videos about them. So this has been sort of a, a few quick tips uh, <laughs> uh, how to do video marketing. Uh, so basically I showed you how to optimize your video to a certain extent, like you look at the title, you look at the description, you look at the getting more views, getting more likes, 
getting more duration. Uh, and the other thing is to um, really uh, make your video have a click baiting title where people are more likely to click that title. A couple of tricks you can do on that is if you include numbers inside of that title, they're gonna click it more. Uh, another thing that you can use is the bar. If there's like a bar within the title where you say real estate advice and then bar and then some title, uh, generally people will be more likely to click it. Uh, using keywords like advice, free tips, tricks, secrets, things like that, which are kind of engaging, uh, people are more likely to um, click that video. Also, you can use people's names. Uh, if you use like a famous name, not only will you rank for that person's name, but you're more likely to get clicks because people have that instant brand recognition and they will more likely want to click it because they're curious about that brand. So there's, there's things like that that you can get more clicks. Um, and then when you make your video, <laughs> so using this kind of site, like where you kind of come up with the video ideas, and then using tools like your iPhone or HitFilm 4 or Audacity for the audio will really make your videos much better. I always recommend that whenever you create your video, write a script and just read the script, but read it a few times so that you don't even like, and then when you shoot your video, you're not actually reading that script. You're just saying it basically from verbatim and it just sounds more natural when you don't actually read the script. <laughs> you're just saying it. Um, so these kind of tricks, you can make good quality videos with good audio and good video. And then, um, when you post your video, you can do a, one other thing that really can drive that video to the top. And that is to do what's called live premiere. Um, and what that means is when you post your video, you can actually be, uh, on the channel when it's posted. So you can actually post the video and there'll be like a chat box along the side and uh, people can engage with you as the video is being played. So uh, that's a really powerful way to get that engagement that I was talking about, but also, um, uh, you know, create excitement about the video because they know that you're there <laughs> when you, this video is getting posted and you can, you can do, a whole bunch of other cool things like doing uh, YouTube live, which is another great way to make money from your channel. If you're interested in making money just from YouTube itself, what you can do is the following where you, you build an audience first, you have to at least have a few thousand subs, but once you have a few thousand subs, uh, you can basically do what's called a YouTube live where you have a video and you can actually get your audience, what will end up happening is if you have a lot of subs, you'll have like just a stream of people asking questions or talking within the sort of that chat box that's alongside the video. And what ends up happening is it just becomes a blur. <laughs> but so what people have to do is in order to get their question answered by you is they do a donation where I've seen people donate even up a hundred dollars just to get their question answered by the person that made the video. And that can be a really powerful way to make revenue from your videos. Uh, other ways to make revenue from your videos include, you know, monetizing it through uh, YouTube ads. Generally, they, the rule of thumb is for every, um, every thousand views, you can make about a dollar. <laughs> okay, that's kind of the rule of thumb. Um, that's kind of, it goes up and down depending on YouTube's algorithms because sometimes they're a little bit harsh on video creators where they're, they're not really um, helping them be monetized. So, but generally rule of thumb is for every thousand views, you get about a dollar. Um, and that, as I said, that there's a caveat to that where it depends on what your content is. Um, so yeah, and you have to, <laughs> but you have to have your videos monetized to do that. The other thing that you can do is, um, to monetize your videos, and this is the last important thing I want to mention before I finish, uh, is you can use sites like Patreon. Patreon is a place where you can basically ask your subscribers to patronize you, to give you money to make great content. 
And what you can do is you can put that link inside that description of your video where you say, hey, look, uh, I can't do these videos for free. You know, I, I, I rely on you to help me make these videos. Uh, please click the Patreon link below and, you know, send me five bucks or, uh, you know, and, you know, people will do that. Actually, it's amazing. Uh, there's some channels like um, Jordan Peterson is a good example where he's making 100,000 plus per month just through Patreon. And it's through people, um, you know, wanting to see the content and just really liking that YouTuber and just, you know, feeling that they have to contribute to that channel so that, that YouTuber will make more videos. So Patreon is a really great thing. I recommend you look into that. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do, um, but this would be like a 10 hour video. <laughs> so. Um, I, I, I think I've addressed most of the major issues with YouTube um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> so yeah.